G'day everyone, Gareth here from Organic Grain Melbourne. Another quick video, doing some avocado maintenance here. So now we've harvested all my avocados from last season. I'm going along now, and I'll take some of these lower branches out. Last year I had it all roped up, because the weight of the avocados, they were dragging on the ground. So this year I'm going around to any branch that um, doesn't have avocados on it or maybe if it's got a little one on it so like all these branches here you can see there's nothing there's no avocados on it but it's already touching the touching the ground here so I'm going to cut this as, as back back as far as I can um, and now I know it's uh, it's now producing fruit for me every year as you can see there's a lot more on it this year than last year um, everywhere everywhere I counted I came out here a couple of days ago and just in this area here was over a hundred and then you've got like big clusters of them now so I'm gonna Trim anything that's really low, open this up at the bottom a bit, make it easier to get in and out for when these come into season or when these are ripe, or I should say ready to pick, um, October, November, Christmas time I'd say. It's about when they were starting to get ready last season so they'll be ready in, in well, a long time. It's all worth it though, all worth it. So I'll just show you what I do, I just come in here and then you'll get all these dead, I'm gonna swap hands, I'm right handed so I need to put the camera in the other hand. So you get all these dead branches that had probably uh, an avocado hanging off, there's this big dead one here. So I'll just go around and trim these off. You see this one here, that'll come off, there's no avocados on this branch here off I don't think I've got anything on here I could take this right back right back so I'll get the pruning saw onto this branch here and I'll make a, a little cut here first so when the branch drops I don't split the bark back and damage the tree like that Here's another one and I'm not worried about the heat in summer anymore I'm still going to get some more growth off this so I'm not worried about the Sun coming into this trunk anymore that's the avocado now has a good bark protection now it's not until you get up to these younger branches they're the ones you want protected from frost and Sun these are quite capable of uh, of coping with the uh, frost and in the winter and the heat in the summer. So I'll go around and and prune a few more. Um, I might take these little waste. These ones aren't going to do anything for me. I'll take these little ones off. I'm going to work my way around. So we've got this one here. This one had avocados on it there and there, and they were hanging down here. So we can take this one off. Uh, a couple of these little little ones. We've got some avocados there, so obviously I won't take that branch off. I might lose an avocado here and there, but this there's another dead one here, which I pointed out earlier that can come off. All these dead dead prune all them off now I do have this big long one here and I think if you can see there it's just the one avocado it's a small one and I might take this look at this 
don't know whether that's bird poo or rat poo or what but they're definitely I'll say that again they're definitely getting in here again and eating the fruit I think I might take this whole branch off I'm gonna lose that one avocado so again pruning saw we do let's have a look at this branch here so I'll do a, a cut underneath here like this so I don't damage the bark when it falls and then there we go that'll heal up nicely so you can see I'm hoping there was just one avocado on that yeah just the one oh, two. two little ones one there and one there that's okay I need to do this anyway it needs to be done and I think and then all these branches feed the tree this is all really good mulch like that and then the last ones I'll get off are some of these ones that have had avocados hanging off this one here we'll take that right off here I don't think there's anything on these ones so this one can come off this one's doing nothing so look at this spindly little thing nothing on it right up the top here prune that one off and then we'll just clear up these little there's one two all this is just no, no leaves nothing on it and then all these little dead branches that you can see and I think I don't want to cut that one off because there's an avocado it's only one um, it can only go down to a certain amount so that won't touch the ground that one so here we go so I mean you don't have to do this but if you want your tree to look neat um, you can see a little rat I've got up there and eating that one in there I hope that picks it up or possums but you can see looking up looking up into this canopy there's just oh it's so exciting I reckon there's probably 200 plus this year and then of course I've got the two that are on the bacon so there we go there's the finished product I think that's that's nice and open now I lost two avocados this one will probably come off next year but there's only one on that could probably end up sacrificing that one but and take that whole branch off but I'll just leave that one so now the avocado is nice and pruned a bit of access under there kind of looks a little bit neater as well actually probably the avocado tree is probably getting wider than it is high now so again, once all this fruit has been harvested next year, I'm hoping I'll have the fuerte and the bacon giving me a, a number of fruit. I can then take this right in, like, and then take this whole branch back. And I've, I'm talking brutal pruning. This whole branch comes right, this big branch here, take it right back. The risk of doing that is the uh, is obviously the heat and also the um, the frost in winter. But like I said, when you've got an established avocado that's a formed a nice bark, it that doesn't need protecting so much. These will the, all these branches here may get affected by by the frost but it but also it all depends on how you look after it as well like if you really look after your avocados you feed them 
compost mulch the healthier the tree is the uh the better it ha the better chance it has against the frost and the heat this house very rarely gets heat or frost damage anymore because it's so established and you know pruning these pruning these unwanted branches now is going to send nutrients into other parts of the avocado i want them to go to rather than these wasted branches underneath all right there we go avocado maintenance thanks for watching everyone um, don't forget to like subscribe and share uh, and press that little bell icon and you'll get notifications every time i release a new video all right take care everyone i'll see you in the next video bye